welcome to episode 7 of Mia Mina Narrates. I'm your host, Mia Mina. Thanks for joining me in my library. This episode features the prologue and first part of an 11-part series I am honored to be allowed to present to you. This series will be releasing every Wednesday starting today. This will be my first time doing a series this long. I'm very excited about it. The author, Beautiful Nightmare, a.k.a. Charlie Blackmore, has graciously allowed me the opportunity to bring you her There's a Killer in My Town. This will be my October and November special series, along with other videos to celebrate the season. Before we begin, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already, so you're notified when I upload new videos. Now, let me whisper into your ears. Stars twinkle brightly overhead. Dark clouds pass over the full white moon as I stand at the edge of town. My line of sight is focused on the small town. The innocent town folks have no idea that I'm even here. They don't realize that I'm lurking in the shadows every night, waiting for the opportune moment to strike for the first time. Well, not the first time. I had started out on small animals when I was 20 years old. I am not sure why it had taken so long for me to fulfill the urge that I had throughout my entire life. However, it was thrilling watching the life fade away from those animals while crimson liquid spilled through my fingertips had become the most exciting thing in my life. Those small animals were no match for me, yet the more I killed, the more I craved bloodshed. A person can only slaughter so many animals for so long before they want to move on to bigger and better things. But my technique wasn't perfected and my signature hadn't been discovered until my knife accidentally sliced open the stomach of a rabbit. That was the moment when I realized what my signature would be. Slicing through the warm flesh, feeling the blood seep between my fingers as I neatly cut into my victims, was going to be the way I revealed myself to this small town. It didn't take long at all for me to start killing larger, harder to catch animals. The feeling I had while gutting a deer for the first time oh, was simply incredible. The rush of adrenaline pumping through my veins at that particular moment was the best I had ever felt. Now, well, now it is time that I finally start hunting the things that I have wanted to hunt for quite some time now. Humans. The most challenging part about starting my hunt of humans was going to be one particular problem. I have to be stealthy enough to sneak up behind them without giving myself away. I know that I will have to figure out a specific way to lure them out from their comfort zone long enough to feel the blade of my knife slice into their skin. I don't care if it's a small child, an adolescent teenager, an adult, or simply an elderly person because the only thing that has been on my mind is to be able to experience that rush of adrenaline coursing through my body. I honestly hope that killing actual humans will be as satisfying to me more than killing in general is. Oh, I can't wait to see the look of terror in their faces when they realize that their life is about to end. Look out, world, my frenzy is about to begin. I make my way down the small hill I am currently standing on. My knife nestled perfectly inside my jacket pocket my skin crawling from the exciting thoughts running through my mind, my hands itching to grip the handle and use it to pierce the flesh, the need to watch blood squirt out of someone's neck is overwhelming me, the need for bloodshed, 
how can I possibly begin the hunt when I have no idea where to strike first? The desolate streets around me give off an eerie feeling, one that I happen to enjoy more than anyone should. Nearby street lamps flicker on and off as I walk through the sketchy neighborhood. My eyes glance around the area for any movement any hint of someone being out and about at 2.30 in the morning. My feet carry me up and down the sidewalks, in and out of alleyways, desperately searching for something that will help me scratch this unbearable itch. A metallic clank sounds somewhere nearby, causing my attention to immediately focus in that direction. The thought of it being an echo occurred to me, yet the voice that shouted into the distance was recognizable. I carefully stick to the shadows as I make my way towards the sound I had heard a few moments ago. I duck behind a nearby dumpster when a person speaks once more. The wicked smile that creeps onto my lips would make any normal person shudder upon seeing it. Then again, I am not your average person. No, I am far too sadistic to be grouped in with everyone else. This is my nature, hunting things down, killing them without a second thought, watching and enjoying the moment I get to see life in their eyes fade away. This is going to be the most incredible kill that I have ever made. This will be the start of my career. I shall be the greatest and most successful serial killer to ever have lived. At least that's my hope. No one will ever be able to understand how much this moment is going to mean to me. They will never be able to comprehend exactly how this particular moment will impact the rest of my life. My end goal is to kill as many people as possible. My goal is to fulfill the strange craving for blood. I need this moment. This is the one kill that I plan to take the most time with. I have to perfect my technique, and this person will be the first experiment. Thank you for listening to the prologue of There's a Killer in My Town by Beautiful Nightmare, a.k.a. Charlie Blackmore. Beautiful Nightmare is a wonderful person and writer. She has a passion for her writing, which shows in each story she writes. She says she aspires to create worlds where people get comfortable to delve deeply into temporary escape from their lives and troubles. She has a gift for the macabre and vivisection. While horror is definitely a genre she excels at, it also feeds her passion. For this reading, I am using the paperback version of the book published on the 20th of July, 2020. If you want to get your own, there's a link down in the description. You can also follow her on Amazon or on one of her Twitter accounts. Both of them are linked down in the description. Let me know what you think in the comments. While you're down there, please give the video a like and share it out. If you aren't subscribed, consider subscribing and ringing the bell till it rings so you don't miss when I upload new videos. Again, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been so welcoming, supportive, and helpful. I know I've asked a lot of input from you all. I just want to get to know you all as you get to know me. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day or night, and be safe.